there, which can be parried, but like, yeah, you're not. Most people aren't gonna parry neutral air every time, and otherwise it's just super safe. Anyway, game one's gonna be on battlefield with a banger of its own. I mean, come on, this team is great. But uh, <laughs> wow, he just pulls out the turnip in his face. Doesn't really work out for him, but. I mean, honestly, all Rishi needs, it, it feels like all Rishi needs is that one big opening. So far, he hasn't quite gotten it. And as you can see, Dill is able to get damage, but not huge bursts of damage like we know Peach and or Daisy is capable of doing. Ooh. This could be big. Oh, wow, he actually falls out of it, but I love the way that Dill is just covering the ground at every instance. He can just be whatever he needs to, and right there he wanted to be above a Rishi, and it worked out for him. This is a huge start for Dill. 48% is all he has in the gone. Oh, there's the Saturn. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he wanted to, oh my god, what? <laughs> this, what are all these projectiles, these items? Who turned on items in the middle of this game? That was silly. All right, now here is actually one of the big, pot, like the big sort of sources of, it's like a win condition for Rishis. If he's able to keep Dill at the ledge, if he's able to get kills while he's stuck there. And as we see, getting a forward air kill that early on a big boy like Rob, that is huge. Only 64% means that this is one solid Peach combo away from Rishi having the lead after that amazing start that Dill had. Oh, yeah, I know he's really looking for it, but Dill knows what Peach's best combo starters are, but oh, just because you know what they are doesn't mean you can't get hit by them. Even if you have the, you know, the options of, you know, trying to keep people out like Rob does. Good dash attack to get out of the corner. That's an aggressive option. It might be working out for him right now, but if Rishi continues to be aggressive when he's like, you know, pushed aside. Oh. God, Rob is, it's, uh, yes, you can hit him off stage, but like, you feel like, you, I don't know, you just feel like you can't. He has so many ways of stalling and mixing things up. He's just one of the trickiest characters. Oh my God, sniped, never mind. Rob is super predictable, can't do anything against this. Wow, I like the idea of using the, uh, the umbrella to maybe scoop him up, get some extra damage. Doesn't quite work out, but honestly, Rishi is still in a good position. That forward air doesn't quite do it, but off stage on ledge, let's see if this is where it ends for Dill. No, he's able to get out of that position. Oh, but the dash attack coming through, and he grabs Gyro at the same time. What happens, I think, uh, Daisy can, if she's holding an item, do turn up pull, I believe. Just throws the turn up out, like Diddy Kong Banana, just off in any direction. Oh man, I'm liking this right now. Rishi knows he has the lead, and but also it's like it's this sort of pressure game. You notice he's, he's at this range where he knows that you know Rob can't exactly close the distance super easily. Uh, as I am saying that, I'm talking about like more in the neutral. Oh, this is, as we've seen, this is where Rishi gets a lot of his damage, a lot of his kills. Let's see if he's able to keep Dill there. If he can, it could definitely go into his favor pretty quickly. 95% on Dill. This is not looking so great. And he's actually landing these now. <gasps> Another one. Rob might be out of fuel kind of soonish if he can keep him off stage. But on ledge, that should... Yeah, I'd say that Dill can now be knocked off stage and not have to worry so much. But he does have to worry about the fact that he now is at 152. I did not even see that. I was expecting him to die off stage, but let's not forget. He took like 100%, or at least 70 in the process. Although now we are facing down Dill with Rage, but <laughs> staying alive against Peach is just so hard to do. As we see the forward air coming out, connecting. Rishi's been having an amazing run today, and Dill, who's been one of the really good players here in New York, his Rob has been showing people you know, what that character can do. Uh, Rishi normally doesn't usually get this far, and he has taken game one against Dill. If he wins this, I'm not sure what Rob this is, but he, is he guaranteeing himself top 8 if he wins here? Uh, let me actually check top 24 for you guys. Never mind. I am not checking top 24 for you guys. Alright, game 2 is going to be on Town and City. 
Now, uh, in terms of the bans, we actually saw uh, Yoshi's story get banned, which is, I mean, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so Town and City, much bigger stage, which means that he has so much more time to, you know, really get his footing, really put his stake in the ground, claim his territory as his own, and make sure to keep those trespassers off. And right now, that entire, like, his property is just this half of the stage. Like, what is Daisy even trying to... Rishi has not found a way to effectively get in. Even there, just barely missing, and oh my god, all of that damage from one poorly like, just outspaced back air. Is that it? Oh, just enough to not die there. Okay, now here's big damage. Now, one thing is that Rishi, I was just about to say, he hasn't been getting those big combos, but right there, proving me wrong, getting... And I mean, it's not quite even just yet. Peach can't really... Can't, she can't quite explode people at, you know, nine. Now she can make him explode. Oh my god, that forward air. All right, intercepting. I really like the fact that now we see to go for this uh, anti-air game. <laughs> but even then committing to a grab it's like what is he thinking about right now in terms of killing all right that is one of the advantages of getting your opponent to like 160 is your moves that normally wouldn't kill do in fact kill rob neutral air taking a stock means that he doesn't have to worry about you know playing from behind right now situation he's doing such a good job of just positioning himself and then he gets up smashed proving me wrong and making me feel bad about myself uh, but nonetheless we oh my god an up air we've been seeing a lot of these up airs come out and even though it you know there's this whole wide stage that Rishi can float over he's getting intercepted nonetheless Can land another one of those combos. Oh, the spot dodge coming in clutch. He's looking for the down tilt. Rishi knows that if a single down tilt can practically even this up. I mean, not exactly, but it'll be a lot better than fighting from the massive, you know, gap that he's that's between them right now. Dose projectile zoning gameplay. It's the stage is just a lot more conducive to it, and he has been using it so effectively. Even though he's on the platform, oh my god, oh, this could be huge. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, but like, <laughs> when they're off stage like that, I just expect that either of them can die. I mean, definitely Peach could have died right there. I'm sorry, Daisy. You know, this play, you know, the, the sort of very careful, so, well, oh, bye Gyro, um, the very careful, like, zoning that uh, Dill is doing is very good at getting damage, but now that he actually has to get the kill, a neutral air is probably going to have to, I have a feeling that another neutral air might be what's required to take this stock, because he's not really going in for too many committal things, oh, it's almost 200% right now! And that forward air almost does it. One more. He's at already at 130. There might be a 70% deficit between them, but they're both at kill percent. That's just the truth. Even if Rishi dies right here, he will respawn with Dill at kill percent. Still a bad place to be. Also, he's at 222. And he's alive. Down tilt is not a way to kill somebody. <laughs> All right, that's... Oh, my God. All right, finally. Finally, it happens. And there it goes. All right. <laughs> Uh, hitting the hard reset button, we've got one stock, 0% for each of them, but these early percents have been just so consistently, this game at least, been going to Dill. And Rishi has been able to, you know, once he gets to later percents, he gets his one combo in, and then he, you know, gets some damage here and there, traps Rob at the ledge. Honestly, I haven't seen as much ledge trapping as in game one, and I feel like that's one of the big differences between the different, uh, the differential and damage output between the two players. Uh, but, oh man. <gasps> he takes on top of the 
Gyro, this actually could be huge. I uh, air dodges away from the up smash. That up smash absolutely would have killed him. Rishi, let, let's. I'm gonna remind you. Rishi won game one. If he manages to actually seal this game, that's it. Duel is just in loser's bracket. And this is actually possibly his winner's life flashing before him. 108%. 103, rather. But that's still plenty of ways for him to go out right now. I'm looking the forward airs. He knows that uh, Dill has to respect it. Oh, but the up air intercepting, catching him before he can get to the ground. And Dill secures game two in what was... I'm not going to say surprisingly close, but there were points in that game where I thought it was going, to, one of them was going to pull away, and I, it was Dill. I thought Dill was going to pull away in that game, but Rishi kept him, uh, kept things very even. Uh, so now we have the bands of both triplats, which I can agree with. Um, with those gone, maybe a smaller stage? All right, it's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. I was thinking perhaps Unova. Uh, which I believe is smaller than PS2. I don't know. It feels like it's smaller. Now, this game three is going to be on Pokemon Stadium 2. In terms, uh, in terms of the advantages of each, I was saying earlier that characters with good back airs, really good fast back airs, do well on t uh, Pokemon Stadium. Uh, just because the way those platforms work, it's so easy to just drop down back air. You know, characters like I, characters like Palutena. Uh, Peach does have a pretty good back air. Rob doesn't really do that. Like, Rob back air stalls him, it's slow. It has its, absolutely has its uses, but I don't think reverse platform pressure is the way to do it. Maybe he'll prove me wrong. I will admit that I don't know much of anything about Rob. I am just like a humble spectator to what Dill does. We have seen no down here. That's actually, Rishi has, I'm not sure if he's been holding that onto his back pocket or he remembered he has that move because that move is actually very good. <laughs> it does feel like something that if uh, Dill is really anticipating it, he can like shut down down air attempts. Uh, but if he, uh, you know, Rishi hasn't really been showing his hand with that. So, but now he's going back to the forward air game plan, which, I mean, yeah, if you're landing forward airs as Peach, you're, you're pretty all right. God, and this is the ledge trapping. This is what was missing from game two. It was there in game one, and it's what helped him get the damage to win. Forward air's a little bit stale, but we're coming to the point where that, like, relatively soon will kill from mid-stage. Wow, and he's still intercepting him. This is... Yeah, this is something we were not seeing before. And one thing is that, uh, I maybe it's the platform layout, but Dill does not seem to be committing to that same sort of, you know, entrenched zoning. You know, really trying to keep him out. He's been throwing the gyro kind of off stage. That's dead. Wow, that's dead. Upside view is so cool. And Rishi kind of opening Dill up with his dash attack. A trade there is going to be all right for him as long as he can continue to keep Dill in the corner. That's first stock. It worked out so well for him. And this time, he's still able to get damage, but Dill is back to central stage. You know, in general, it feels like the neutral is kind of consistently going to Dill. But his wins in neutral do not... You know, they're not the same as Peach when you control. A, because, you know, Peach combos, and B, because Rob, it's so difficult for him to get out of, like, bad stage positioning. <gasps> okay, he knew, he was anticipating. He didn't grab ledge, but that was fine. Um, oh man, oh, <laughs> the pressure right now. And this is, I'd say things are actually, it's very important that reach to get this kill. Because if Rob could absolutely be the one to do him in first, and right there it is, the up tilt to up air connecting, and now he has to take this stock real soon. He does because, <laughs> all right. Yeah, Dill's laughing. That's like what happened to game two. You know, after this heated second stock. Uh, just answer him with forward air. 
Is that better than forward air is, Peach? Forward air when you're invincible. Game three, we are down to the wire. This is the last stock between these two. And honestly, Dill seems to have turned up for this last stock. 70% already on Rishi. And Rishi was, in this game at least, consistently winning the early game. Wow, that dot has just so much damage. But Dill has, uh, oh my god, that early upbeat was fantastic. Actually, inter like preventing him from getting the down air. But Rishi has not found a way to like actually get, you know, a stick, like a solid footing. 126%, he's on the ledge once again. Dill's pressure has finally like returned to what it was. But I like the zone breaking with that side B. Dill definitely was not anticipating it. Pressuring his shield with down air, but Dill actually has the answer. 85% on him. Oh my god, another dot ice! But the forward smash gonna be catching him, and that is game three going to Dill. Uh, in a really close set. But uh, the upset does not happen, and Dill moves forward into winners. Hiya, friendos. Uh, who do we got next?